have a little friend. A little friend. Here we go. Call him Carl. Looks like a Carl to me. Carl! Oh no. Carl! Seems like a nice guy. Welcome to Gold Hay Farms. It's good to see you, as always. Uh, before we kick this video off, please do not forget to like it. Gosh, it helps us out so much. We need those likes, baby. Um, if you're new here, uh, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, and by the way, it uh, occurred to me after looking at my channel analytics that only 69% of you, no, only 30% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So the other 69, 70% of you, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button if you actually do like the content that we're putting out here. If you're new, uh, Golsh Hay Farms, we do a lot of hay things. We like our John Deere's, we like our Vermeer hay equipment. And uh, we just like to bring you along through our uh, daily routine of uh, putting up somewhat good hay. We do a lot of custom work. We grow a little bit of our own hay. We're just here to entertain, inform, and and maybe even possibly learn from the folks who comment on these videos and who are watching. So with that being said, we are going to do a quick hay tour. I cut hay yesterday. We're uh, heading to the field right now to take a look and see how it's doing. Um, looking pretty good. It's a hot day. It's almost 100 degrees already. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's still a touch green. I bet we could probably bail it this afternoon. But I'm gonna go ahead and wait till tomorrow. Dad will be cutting this evening, um, so it'll work out good if I cut tomorrow or bail tomorrow, and then the next uh, following day after that we can bail what my dad's gonna cut this evening on Thursday. But overall, the patch looks good. The mower did a pretty good job. Just close this gate real quick. Heck of a deal. We got more rain chances over the weekend. I'm in tow haul mode, that's not good. So whatever dad lays down today, uh, we're gonna have to get bailed up. And I think rain chances start that night. Uh, flirting with a little bit of danger, but uh, we'll get it done, depending nothing blows up or whatever. I had a uh, video scheduled to go out today. Uh, it did, it did release. If y'all are liking it, go like and subscribe. Um, but a lot of comments, uh, it was about fertilizing and I'm on Brian's field now. And this is the field that we fertilized uh, recently uh, in that last episode. And uh, I just wanted to kind of give an update. It's about uh, four days later, got an uh, inch and a half of rain on it. And uh, it's doing phenomenal. It's greened up nicely. It's shot up probably you know three to four inches in some spots y'all ask for updates on uh, how this is how this is bouncing back after we fertilize and after we cut this is the best i've seen it uh, we've never fertilized this field particularly after a cutting um, so it's already looking fantabulous happy with the results this weekend should just drown that fertilizer into the soil even more and uh, give this patch a good boost and uh we should be able to make some hay before the dog days of summer. That 100 degree weather comes about mid-July and it sticks around uh, till mid to end of August and then it finally starts raining. So uh, if we can squeeze out a decent cutting between now and before those days start, we'll, uh, we'll make some pretty good hay and quite a bit of it. Uh, unfortunately, this blue stem grass is a late bloomer. Uh, it really loves the heat as long as you have water. That's the key, right? So it doesn't really start pushing real hard until we get uh, pretty warm days. Dad's gonna cut tonight on that 16 acres, uh, like I mentioned before, and we'll get it up off the ground on in the next, in two days. That's about when the rain chances start picking up and that's in the evening. Might be flirting with danger a little bit. Danger, <laughs> it's like my first name, get it? Dane, okay. Anyway, time I see you will probably be tomorrow when it's time to put up some hay. 
Boom! Hey guys, welcome back to the party. Well, the hay is ready to rock and roll. Not so hot today. It's only topping out around 90. Um, I got my fancy camera bag. I'm gonna try to snap some photos. I'm trying to get better about actually taking photos rather than just stealing photos from the videos I record. It just doesn't turn out the same and I don't know. Anyway, today all we really have to do is uh, everything seems ready to go. Shoot some grease here and there on our major bearings for the rake. Uh, all the grease ports on the baler. If you do it all, hey, and get on to baling, I think we're good on net wrap. Let's check. Oh, yeah. For those of you who ask, we are running the 51 inch uh, Swanson Ag Wrap. It's great wrap. Uh, can't go wrong with it. Look them up. I think their website's like netwrapandtwine.com. Scott Swanson, the owner, and his family, uh, all good people. Um, there might even be a dealer in your area who actually uh, will stock pallets of this stuff. Um, I know we have a dealer here and uh, they do a good job of keeping stuff in stock so I don't have to even order pallets at a time. Even though I probably should uh, buy pallets at a time or a pallet at a time. Uh, can't say enough about the net wrap itself. Yeah, the quality of the net wrap is uh, right in line with like a John Deere net wrap and it's uh, significantly cheaper, at least in our area. We made the switch to Swanson and pff, no turning back, you know. I don't think we've had a... Actually, we started using Swanson. We didn't even run Vermeer Bay, uh, net wrap through this Vermeer roller. We didn't run John Deere net wrap through it. We went straight to uh, Swanson and uh, yeah, we haven't had a single issue to be honest with you at all. I like to do a good 12 pumps, you know? course the last greaser ran out of grease good to go alrighty 10 minutes later for me and probably like 32 seconds for you we are all ready to go chains oiled also I want to know uh, comment below please for all you guys who are carrying around the uh, grease guns and extra grease in your trucks how do y'all keep that all clean? And how do y'all dispose of the uh, empty grease cartons? It's just a mess. I don't. Uh, it's the only thing I don't like about grease and stuff. <laughs> I know it's important. Sorry, I had to go there up a turn. But I'm back. Y'all probably didn't even notice I was gone though. Here's our field. I missed the spot. Well, we made it in. Backing it up on the road. Always gets real interesting, but I actually pretty good this time. All right, unfolded. Ready to eat some hay. Well, I gotta wait for the monitor to fire up there. Well, we're bailing. I've got eight bales on the ground. Here's one. Swanson net wrap looks pretty good, don't it? <laughs> See what that wind's doing to that rake? Not making the heaviest of hay, but what do you do, you know? What do you do? I'm just finishing up this pass here and then I'm gonna start going this way. That way I go into the wind and again, or with the wind. It shouldn't affect me too bad. It even changes the bale shape. See how it's getting high on the left? Because the wind's coming this way, blowing the wind row to the left of the baler. Now we're heading into the wind. Or with the wind, it's doing much better. It is a lot rougher though. I shouldn't say a lot, it's rougher though. I guess whenever this field was disc last, obviously they took the long way. So we're getting, getting those, some of those bumps.
live bait, 25 bales so far. Just coasting. Check out, check it out. Oh yeah, right there's where I want to be. You can see the baler. Come on. Straighten out. In the money. Boom. That's how easy it is to turn. The way that uh, this rig picks up when we're going against the grain of the way it was cut. Feels like immaculately clean. A few little issues here, but the mower did a good job too. I like it. Here's Carl again. See you, Carl. Well, Dad just showed up, brought me a refreshment. Uh, maybe 10 more minutes left of rolling. This is all I got left. Uh, it's making good, hey. Not too, real fine stem. Obviously blue stem, blue stem, 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 it's pretty stemmy. This stuff's real fine stem, so it's, it's probably a little bit more palatable for the cow. Uh, it's gonna make nice hay. Nice blue stem hay, anyway. And that's it. That is all she wrote. Last bail. Right out of full one too. Definitely need to check that. Three way split remote. This is the rake call. This is the pickup up. The pickup's up. This is the wheels up. And then this is the pull. For the rake. Hold each button and then activate your hydraulic lever. Got that road gear. Can you imagine if we actually bail this fast? Holy cow. All you folks who are uh, old school Johnny fans, y'all tell me what y'all like better. Comment below. Uh, quad range. Or power shift and why and include your activity whether it's mowing, bailing hay, raking let me know uh, what activity it is that you like and why and what transmissioning uh, that you like for that activity does that make sense? we swapped our power shift which is our 4255 our four wheel drive rig we swapped it over to cutting, one because you travel in the field and the fall is smoother, typically. And two, it's easier to downshift through multiple gears rather than this quad. You can only downshift uh, through one gear without clutching. So, look at that, though, like a chair. Always got to remember to turn the monitor off. 31 bales. Not great, but still early. Still early. We'll get three cuttings and make three cuttings a nice hay. That's the best part about it. Tractor sound so good coming down the road. Yeah. Dad made it with refreshments. Hey guys, uh, Grayson and I uh, just decided to. You want to say hi? Grayson and I just wanted to come and check on Dad real quick. Are you waving now? There you go, wave to the camera. Yeah? Grayson and I just wanted to come out and uh, check on Dad. Uh, he's rolling this 16 or 17, however many acres it is, over here. Uh, we did dodge a bullet last night. I uh, had some pretty aggressive storms out west. As soon as they got here, they disintegrated, so we dodged a bullet. Look, it's gonna dump it out. You can't tell me that's not a nice hay bale. Right? Whoa, how tight is it? Oh, wow. Tight, right? You like it? Yeah, real tight. Heck of a deal. Future hay camp. Pretty. Look how 
how nicely this mower mowed. Isn't that great, Grayson? Head. But anyway, that's all we have, folks. Uh, appreciate y'all tagging along. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Uh, subscribe if you're uh, if you're visiting often and uh, you like the content. Uh, we love y'all. Gold Shade Farms loves you. Grayson loves you. Pops loves you. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.